Hi Cardinals, I hope that you're doing absolutely fabulous. Thanks for joining for your next set of readings uh, from the uh, 12th, 13th, and 14th. Uh, if you are returning, welcome back. And those of you who are um, new, my channel can be very intense. My name is Shannon and I'm glad to have you. Um, welcome. We look at all kinds of stuff here, so it could be, like I said, very intense for you. However you found this channel, if it's for you, it will be for you. If not, then it won't, and um, all that. So you'll just learn me as we go. Welcome. Uh, those of you who are returning, I appreciate you all so very much. Um, I just did the mutable sign, and please go watch that because we're under a mutable sign in where the sun is, and everybody's under the sun. And it was very intense. Everybody's going through all kinds of stuff. So, um, let's see what's going on with this energy. What's getting started with Cardinal? Well, there's the Nine of Swords. This is literally this was out in the mutable signs. A lot of people in their mind. Have no fear, Jehovah is here. What I just heard. <laughs> Make him dear to your heart. Thank you, Jehovah. You have a rebuke and bind and block every foul, demonic, wicked, dark energy right here, right now. And shove it down to the pit of hell where it belongs. Show me energies for cancer. Aries. Capricorn. And Libra. What would you like to bring out for cardinal energy for the next couple of days? Thank you. So, we have the three of cups. There are third parties involved in some stuff. There's a lot of parties. We had the five of one. We had fire everywhere in that other reading. Um, the queen of pentacles is here. People are coming out here. The queen of wands is here. And the Ace of Cups is here, which make four cups, and some people are bitter. They are. And some people pretend like nothing's wrong, but there is something wrong. And you're always going to come in and do something. Okay, he's, go he's going to supply the need that you need. Uh, you and I just got to get get our mind upon him. Okay, so we've got love and pregnancy situations. we got another woman out here for some of you all. we got something very passionate, and we'll get up and fight. And roar like the lion, but we ain't the lion who seeks and we may devour. But we get up and roar because you all told us to the other day. And we got the Queen of Pentacles and the Upright. This is lovely. Both these be really warm and caring and, and giving. And uh, and then in the negative, it'd just be like, oh my God, and I hate you. And I'll just burn you up just because I, yeah, I want to and can. And I'll sleep with whoever. And I'll be stubborn and take your pentacles away. And that'd be real horrible nastiness. I don't know why anybody would want to be that way, but we do have people like that out there, okay? And it causes good people to get up more war right back in all uprightness. So, we do have four cups, and again, four cups, somebody just sitting there pouting, okay? Well, because something's taken place or whatever's happened because of a pregnancy situation, because of the other woman for some of you all, or because some type of a battle or some type of pentacles or work on your job, um... This could be sisters, this could be family members, they don't have to even know each other, but there are two people out here, it could be your mother and your queen too, or whatever this is, we got people out here, okay, so the moon, so we do have mother-like energies here, and something is very much emotional, it is, and people in their brain, about some stuff, alright, let's just take some words, and then we will take some other cards on each one of these, you hold up, show me cardinal energy, we do have love here though, if people can get this, you know, turned up, this moon, even though in the negative it means laying down, hunting, and chasing things in ambush. And you could be in the military as well, dealing with stuff. Um, it's upright, righteous, and humble energy in the upright. It's very intuitive energy for us to, to tap into. There's, a, there's feminine energy out here in a, in a masculine form. And in, 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 in something that's warm and caring and giving. So, you know, if, if people are getting over some type of a celebrating type of situation and pouring out some love, even though it's emotional, we can get through this thing, people. We can. Um, let's see what Jehovah wants to bring out. You, you just bring it out, Jehovah, through my hands, as magnificent as you are. 
So we have some type of an extinguish type of energy. Um, fire in consuming something. With We have fire everywhere. It needs to be put out. And we need to quench the fiery darts of the enemy. Okay? And uh, yet, Jehovah is an all-consuming fire. And within that, we are purified. Okay? So, he's a mystery to us, people. He just is a mystery to us. But there's some, some type of a fire situation here. And we have the Queen of Wands here as well. And so somebody is dealing with something that happened at a celebration or with their soulmates here. This is a soulmate card. This is your home with the mother. That goes back to mothers and children. So we're dealing with family here in this reading. Your family. My family. And um, there's been something foolish here. There was something foolish here. There was something deceptive around something. Um... This is going back to the camel and making reference to how easy it is for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's that's horrible. And people want this is my I want, and we did see the four pentacles in the other readings. I mean just it was underneath the emperor, which would be real stubborn stuff, and there was stubborn stuff there. There was cellmate stuff, and we had the word somebody was a liar and it was very profound reading, as always. Jehovah always is just so, so magnificent. So, we do have people that are dealing with money issues, and it was foolish, and it's known about, and some type of uh, fire around the situation. So if there's fraud issues around your home, then there, then there is, and there's some type of... I'm trying to remember. I can't remember if... Uh, I mean, we did have fire everywhere, so if there's an arsonist, then there was... I'm not sure if that wording actually came out or not, but um, they who know their Elohim shall do exploits. That's right, people. We don't have to be afraid. Jehovah's with us. He performs for his people is what um, the book of Psalms tells us. So some have been holding themselves back from some type of forward movement. Yes. And somebody has been sitting there and acting like there wasn't a problem because there's, there's money around the situation and they know it and it's known about and it's been foolish. Uh, bones, okay, well, the people, I'm, out of all these cards, this just came out in the mutable sign reading. So, something about dogs and bones, and something maybe about bone marrow is here. Um, so if somebody broke their bone, or there's a break energy here as well. I didn't bring that out because uh, I didn't notice it on the card, but for whoever's watching this video, apparently it needed to be said. Jehovah, what else do you want to bring out here? Accepting help and, and being uplifting with your feelings. Again, it's emotional. And you've got to use your intuition for whatever's taking place. But we do have a cup of love here. And so, regardless whatever's foolish or what was foolish and somebody was in their pride. And if you're able to get out of your, your stubbornness and understand that, my God, if, an, if, a, if a camel can go through a needle... I don't, I don't want to say you're stubborn. I, I, I want to enter into the kingdom because that's the most important thing. And some people need to accept help for that because there's pride out here. But the fool goes back to pride. So there is a witness. There's a testifying of a record or a charge or something like that. Okay. We did see the incarceration card out there in that other reading. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Show me the three of cups. Thank you, Jehovah, for love. It covers. It refreshes. We have quenching energy, and, and normally the Ace of Cups is overflowing with water. Okay? Somebody could also um, be a fireman just because of all that water was there. I'm just bring it out. It's just hitting me that way. Show me, um, show me the three of cups, please, Jehovah. Show me the three of cups, please. We just rebuke all stubborn energy right here, right now. And we command for the truth in the name of Jehovah to come up. Yes, thank you, Jehovah. And there's stubbornness because there's the the emperor is here. He represents stubbornness, okay? And so something did happen at a celebration with this emperor, with this father, okay? 
with this boss for some of you all. Something to do with the door is here because it is the Dalit in the Hebrew. It's the letter D is here and the letter T is here. Some type of a date for some of you all is here because the other woman is here. At the same time, uh, the emperor has a counterpart, which would be the empress. And she holds all four queens within her, as does the emperor hold all four kings. So part of the empress is here with two queens that are coming out. But whatever's going on, if this is a father and two daughters within the home, we have a mother energy here. However, this is hitting something about a celebration or a wedding energy is here. And he represents the Dalit and opening up the door. And somebody has been going in and out and being weak and poor because that's what and dangling their head. That's what the Dalit represents. And they have because we had people up in their head all over the place in the mutable sun readings. And it does not surprise us, does it, people? The sun right now is in that place of imagination, and people, it, 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 we're going to have to really allow Yehovah to come in, because he is the head, this is the head, the brain, the eyes, in the first house, of, which we're fixing to go into. We're in the feet right now. Pisces represents the feet, okay? And we're fixing to move into the first house where Aries is, and the door is going to be open or shut, regardless of what you ever you are. And so this also was in that reading and I was making just go watch that reading it was very profound you know it was giving me something about fire and snakes and things like that and um this is fire energy here something is passionate something about the brain area is here and thinking in the door and and being clear and stuff like that show me this queen of pentacles so we have the upper version of the emperor and the lower version of the empress out here like I was saying the two parts of herself is here in this reading Whatever's taking place at the celebration, uh, whatever the celebration was, it could have been an, uh, an employment celebration or it was a family reunion or something like that. So we do have, so there's the all, there's a lot on this Queen of Pentacles, a lot, my God. Uh, the world card represents, I'm not even going to take any more cards just because we had so much come out. The world card is an ending. Something ended. There was some type, of, and there's integrity also showing up for some people. Um, all around the world, this is huge. This is travel. So somebody traveled in uh, for some type of a family situation or a job, uh, or you travel on your job. Some people were the other party, got pregnant with the boss. Okay, it's emotional. Okay. And this goes back to the stomach area, the breast, the, the, you know, it's motherhood stuff with the moon. It's been very emotional, but something is over here. And this is some type of a, a again, it's the teeth area at, in the Hebrew it's, or it's the shin. It, it, and so this is the teeth in the Hebrew. The shin in our English is your leg. Okay. And so where we're at is where the feet are. So Somebody did walk somewhere when a celebration was going on and somebody was in integrity, but something ended, then whatever that is, that is that energy is here. There's some type of war because it is here. It all came out on the Queen of Pentacles. Um, knowing something here, the star, okay? Which that house takes us back to the shin area. And Pisces is the feet, and then the eleventh house is the shin, so it's here, and then we have the teeth with the word shin meaning the teeth something about something was sharp there's wisdom here there's knowledge here there's travel here there's money around something as well and it started a war there's a wounded warrior something happened behind somebody's back this is nine wands but he's holding the the extra one here and there's eight wands in the deck represent communication and travel and it started a freaking war right here because there was money around it it's known about Something has also been spoken about it. This is the pay. So the P is here. The S is here. Some of it was pissed, obviously. Because there's stubbornness here and, and all kinds of stuff. Money. Work. This is um, a commitment. Large sums of money. Okay? Around something. Ten of Pentacles. It's also an inheritance of this person died or 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 this queen of pentacles ended something and died or something like that then something is emotional around family situations okay because that's an inheritance card lots of money and work is here that's 18 pentacles break down to um, nine pentacles which would be a segregation energy we had the protection um wording come out which would be like even the garden with the nine pentacles that it breaks down to which it has a meaning of being in protection or something like that somebody 
for some people will go to jail for something that they did. Something's gotten real dirty. So the hermit is here. This is high. So we have wisdom everywhere with the shin being wisdom and, and the genius mind here with the star and knowing that there's something also guided, even though somebody might be in some type of uh, energy of being bitter with the star and bitterness with four cups. Uh, high volume wisdom. There's all kinds of in the head area. There's all kinds of stuff out here. And there's older people out here as well. And this is a judgment on trying to catch somebody else up and store them in clay. Death issues are here. Business is here with the hermit. Calculations of something. Analyzation. It's a snake in the basket. Okay. Throw your wand down. That's amazing, Yehovah. And he was talking to me about throwing the, the wand down. And, and Moses' wand turned into a snake as well. And it ate up all the filthy peoples up. Let the nasties go to hell. That's what they want. It's a cup of love again. So it's really your choice that makes five cups. It's emotional, yes. Five cups is either staying in bitterness, crying over spilt milk, can't do it, or it's turning around, taking those two cups and coming together and making up and having some type of forgiveness, okay? Um, Jehovah's going to burn a witch. We had all kinds of fire, and we have an all-consuming fire here. So, we did have the stubbornness card there. Again, the emperor can represent stubbornness. So can the queen of uh, pentacles, because we had the four pentacles there in the mutable sun reading, and that is greed. And we have energies here. If it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom. And so stubbornness, this is mine and I want it. Jehovah's going to burn a witch. So if you are witchy and you're stubborn and you know you did something or you won't open up, Jehovah's going to burn you. Was it my work? But yet we have quenching energy out here. Somebody's quenched the Holy Spirit by lying and sitting in a lie because somebody did something that's known about on a travel trip for most of y'all around bank systems with the boss around a, a celebration worked on something try to catch somebody else up because of what they did it's no so, people want to sit there on their throne and be stubborn. Jehovah calls you a witch then. That's what you choose. You don't want to love, then you burn, I guess. Jehovah, give me one more. Uh, an artist is here. Well, we have the star. This is exposure. So, th this is what come out, people, for the next couple of days. Uh, some Somebody's going to burn, I guess. But you can, if you want to be foolish... The word foolish is the, is goes right back to this house. As somebody just can't get out of their own vomit. I got to go back again because I can't because I'm foolish. I can't because I got the mark of the beast upon me. There's a judgment on somebody here. So you can either quench the fiery darts of the enemy and open up and face some type of truth or you burn. It's the word of the Lord, not mine. Shalom.